Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. The world of farming is changing. From the power and versatility of Steiger and Magnum tractors to the legendary reliability of axial flow combines, Case IH can help you be ready. To learn more, visit caseih.com forward slash be ready. Drift control is important when you're spraying Roundup, but are you getting great spray coverage? In today's Iron Talk, we'll discuss about weed control and how to get the best weed control with your Roundup. With drift control, one of the key properties is making those water droplets bigger. Anytime you get bigger droplets, though, you have less spray coverage. Now, with a product like Roundup, just getting a little bit on a plant is usually enough because the Roundup can translocate through the plant. But what we've seen in university studies, like some done by South Dakota State and North Dakota State, is that lower coverage oftentimes results in a little less weed control. Now, if your rate of Roundup is exceptionally high, say you're using 44 ounces of Power Max, for example, chances are you're going to kill most of the weeds if they aren't Roundup resistant. But when you get lower volumes, this is where SDSU and NDSU did their trial work, so they were just barely using enough to kill weeds, that's where they saw a difference. Where they had a flat fan nozzle that made lots of fine droplets, they got better coverage on leaf and better weed control. So keep that in mind. Drift control is one thing, but make sure you're still getting good enough coverage to kill the weeds. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.